All right, hello YouTube. So for this week's collection update, I've picked up things from Best Buy, eBay, and Right Stuff. Um, there's no sales going on for Right Stuff, but I'd still check it out. They're pretty. That's pretty much my go-to place to pick up items. And I re started recording the video once, so this is opened already. But um, I actually haven't pulled out what's in here. Uh, so from Best Buy. We've picked up Bad Boys for Life. Um, I'm a pretty big fan of the Bad Boys films. Um, I've liked all the ones that come out. I know they're pretty cheesy, but I don't know. I just grew up with them. I actually, I actually am from Florida. I think these are in Miami, Florida. But um, yeah, I remember for my PSP, I had the UMD, Universal Media Disc of Bad Boys 2, and I would watch that one all the time when I was younger. Uh, so anyways, here's the slip, I mean the, the J card. Uh, here's some information. Rated R. Let's see, does it say here what type of HDR it has? I don't see anything. All right, anyways, let's take this off. Don't keep those. So here's the back. Well, it's, it's actually not that bad. Um, it's a pretty nice steel book. Uh, there's the spine. And then here's the front. So yeah, and I think this one was actually cheaper than most um, new releases. So I would definitely pick this one up if you guys are a fan of, of the Bad Boys films. Um, I actually haven't seen this one. So I'm excited to watch it. I'll probably watch it this weekend or something. But here's the discs. Let's take these out. And let's look at the art in the back. So it's just uh, Will Smith and Martin Lawrence and then their, their police badges. And that's pretty much it for this one. Um, yeah. I look forward to watching that one. Uh, let me put this down here. I'll put this like that. All right, so on to my eBay pickup for the week. Um, I don't really pick up too much things from eBay, but um, if I see a good deal on something, uh, I usually just search for Aniplex titles here just because they're usually pretty expensive on right stuff, but I still pick them up from right stuff as well. Uh, sometimes I just can't find something that I really want, so I just pay the full price for it. Uh, but anyways, this was actually something that's out of print on right stuff. And it is, oh, this is in, it said the condition was like new, so I hope it's just the bag that's kind of looks kind of dirty and scratched, but I don't even think they have the right art showing up here in the front. But this is the Madoka Magic that you guys seen in my other pickups that I picked up the, the series. Uh, this is the movie that kind of, I think it's after what happened in the series. Uh, so it kind of gives it a new end. So I'm looking forward to watching these. I actually haven't seen this. All I've seen is the, the anime show, which I mentioned that I watched that in when I was in Japan. So let's open this up and fix this because it's kind of bothering me. Let's put that over there. Uh, so yeah, this is sort of like a J card. Um, I think I might keep this one. And the texture, it's kind of interesting. It's more like a I don't know what you would call it, but it has a rough texture on it. And it looks like this is actually in good conditions. I don't see any scratches or anything anywhere. So this is the back. This is the spine, and it, of course it is in Japanese. Um, oh, let's take a look at this really quick. So yeah, the reason I bought it was because it does say it includes subtitles in English 
and Japanese. So at least I can watch it sub. But you gotta be careful. I think there are some versions of this where it actually um, only includes Japanese um, audio, no sub, no English subtitles or anything. And whoa. So here's the booklet. I'll put this here. Here's this. I don't know what this is. The movie Rebellion. Just kind of gives you some information in Japanese, which is of no use to me. But I'll keep it with the box. And then this is what I think actually should go in the front. I'll figure that out when I close this up. But here's another booklet. I'll put this up here for now. Let's take a look at the um, this art box first, where which is where the discs are contained. So this is actually pretty nice. Um, it actually looks like it has some better animation than the than the actual series, but uh, we'll find that out. So if I open up like this, oh, that looks really nice. Um, and then you can open it a little bit more. And it shows that stuff over there, which I'm not sure what that is. Let's see. Let's look at it from the other side. Okay, so it kind of looks like... I know it was kind of weird in the anime whenever they would go into the other world. I already forgot what it's called. But it's basically where all the demons are. It would kind of go into this weird cartoonish... Not even cartoonish, like vintage slash cartoonish... Um, animation but yeah here are the discs uh, so it comes with the original soundtrack and then this is I don't know what this is I can't tell what that is and then I guess it might be blu-ray and DVD so this looks like a blu-ray Hmm. All right, I'll figure it out later. But anyways, let's take out these discs because I actually see some art here in the background. Um, I'm going to put these over here. Take this out. See, so yeah, I have some pretty interesting and animations in the back or figures of the characters. Um... Not even gonna try to say their names because to be honest I don't remember their names um, but yeah I like this set so far now let's take a look at the, the booklets I don't know why I feel like something's missing here this doesn't quite look right to me but anyways Let's take a look at this one first. So actually this, there is some English in here. So it seems like it's in English and Japanese. So song written by someone in Japan, I guess. <laughs> and then there are some sort of like manga frames here, which is all again in Japanese. So I can only look at them. And then here's the names for the soundtrack, which I remember liking the soundtrack, so I might give this a listen. Um, there is Madoka. And yeah, it looks like this is more fan art stuff. Uh, that looks like fan art. Uh, so yeah, the rest of this looks pretty nice. There's a bunch of art in here. Um, I know that's the actual art used on the standard Blu-ray. And then some more Japanese text with some a few images thrown in there. So here's a quick look at the rest of this. Hmm. Whoop. What was that? Let's see what that was. So these are the two things I felt earlier. Kind of teaching you how to take out the discs. I kind of figured that out. And then this is 
I don't know what that says. But yeah, this is a nice little art book. I do like some of the images in here. So let's, look, let's take a look at the other one now. So it seems like there was two in here. So collector's edition Blu-ray material book, English translation booklet. So it seems like everything that's in that other one, it just has the English translation in here. So I guess I will be able to actually read some of this. Um, so that's cool. I'm glad it came in English as well. But no, no pictures in here. So this it looks like this is the main the main booklet. And I think that's everything. So let's try to put this back together the right way. So I'm gonna stick these booklets in. Even that would have looked better, but I still think it goes in this way. Yep, that looks, that's how it should look. That's what I remember seeing on the, um, on the e on eBay. So I'm not sure why he's into packed a different way. Um, oh, uh, let's move on to the other one. So I'll put this over here for now. I'm going to move this down here. So now my right stuff package. Um, so... I know what this is. And it's a show that I liked the first season of. And then I remember getting bored of the second season. But I've heard good things about this one. So with that description, you guys might be able to guess what it is. If it comes from Right Stuff. And based on what's come out recently. But what is this? Oh, so I guess they send this little note uh, because of the whole uh, hardships going on right now. So that's that's good. That's nice. Um, but yeah, here's what I actually got. Is there? Nope. This is the only thing. So it is Sword Art Online Alicization. I saw a few unboxings of this one. I wasn't going to pick it up, uh, but I saw some unboxings and I saw some more reviews of it and it looks good. I actually don't even have the first and second season. Uh, like I said, I remember enjoying the first season, not liking so much the second season. So I wasn't too keen on picking the these up, but I might have to end up picking them up now just because I have this one, but I'll have to watch it first, see how much I like it. Uh, so let's take a look at the inside of this. So yep, this is one of those resealable ones that are nice. So I'll be able to reuse this. Oh, it has a nice blue color to it. You can't really see it that well in the in the camera, but it actually has a nice tone to it, the blue on this. Um, there's no f fancy texture or anything. It's just smooth cardboard box. Um, I usually keep these things on here, but uh, let me see. I'll take them out in a bit. So here's the first Blu-ray case with some nice art. There's the front, here's the back. There's some more artwork in here. And Blu-ray disc one. Blu-ray disc two. And Blu-ray disc three. Uh, it's pretty unfortunate. There's no nice like art on here. I would I would have at least liked to see them put like characters on here. I like it when they do that, but these are just plain black, but the art on the Blu-ray cases themselves is pretty nice. So that's the first Blu-ray case with the first three discs. And then now, here's the second case. Um, so there's the art on the front. 
I don't know who these characters are, but they look pretty interesting. I know I didn't even see that at first. There's a finger coming out of the water there. So it'll be interesting to see what all that's about. Man, actually, now that I, there's a lot of little things in here that you can catch. So it looks like the other finger's up over there. And then there's a guy up there looking at some explosion. And there's like water coming everywhere. So that's interesting. I might want to take a closer look at the other ones. Here is the art here. I think this is Alice. Because I haven't seen the show, but oh, there's somebody back there. You could have missed him. He looks like he's happy or something. Happy about something. But yeah. So again, these boring discs, but here's the art here. And then disc four, disc five, disc six, and looks like it also comes with a, yep, a soundtrack. And then there's the art on the back here. Oh, that shows a little bit much. But let's take a look down here. So there's there's a bunch of swords, if you can see that. I didn't catch that at first either. And then there's three main big swords. So I'm guessing those play a big part on this um, part of the anime. And then looks like that's Kirito. Oh, look, there's people standing on top of there. You didn't I didn't see that either, man. I keep catching things. Uh, interesting. So there's people on top of each one of these swords. And then I'm not actually sure who this girl is that's standing up taller than everyone else. But it seems like they summon her or something. But yeah, it looks interesting. Um, and actually seeing other people's unboxing, I didn't notice a lot of this art. Um, so pretty cool. So, I want to take a quick look at this, see if I missed anything. Nope, these are pretty standard actually. There's nothing, doesn't look like there's anything hidden here. Yeah, nope. It was just that other one that had a bunch of interesting art. And then in here we also get this thing, some sort of playing card. Um, doesn't look like there's anything too important in there. I'll even put this up here. And then here's the booklet. So again, pretty bare bones. I don't like these uh, skinny, flappy, non-hard book um, booklets, but what can I do about it? Um, it would be nicer if they put some nicer booklets in here based on how much these sets cost, but this is what we get. So there's Asuna. And there's a lot of new characters here that I haven't seen. And there might be some from the second season, which I don't even think I finished. There's that guy that was standing on that pillar in the Blu-ray case. And yep, here's Alice. I know she's the one with the blonde hair. But yeah, this might be the girl that they summon. What's her name? Administrator, okay. So it seems like she might be part of the game that they're in. I'm guessing they go into some sort of game in here, just like they did for the other ones. And then, yeah, so there's some stuff to read through there. And then looks like all of the swords or the weapons used in this anime. And then some art on the back, which is always nice. I like seeing these. All right, so I think that was it. Yep, let's just take this off quickly just to take a look at the the rest of what's on here. So there's the front. Let's take a quick closer look at this. So nothing hidden here, just characters. 
And then there's the spine, sword art, alicization. And then the back, there's the administrator. And some characters. I don't know who they are. That guy, he looks funny. And then the cart kind of goes into the booklet here. All right, so those that's everything that I picked up this week. And yep, and all of these is for my personal collection. So, uh, so yeah, this is a pretty some pretty good pickups I got this week. Um, thanks for watching, and if you like what you see here, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.